Okay, today's video actually stems from a request I had from a participant from an Excel course. And during the course, I went through and explained how you could actually open multiple instances of Excel. So if you're using multiple screens, you could have one application open on screen A, the other one open on screen B, and, and both of these are actually separate things. So if you have anything 2010 and below, you need to do this hack. Um, I'm using 2016 Excel and from that point on, Microsoft has actually given us the ability to just do this normally. So from 2016, you don't need to do this, but 2013, 2010, 2007, and we're regressing downwards, you'll actually need to do this trick to have different instances of Excel. First step, load up Excel which you can launch it however you want, as long as you've got one application open, it does its deal. And then you've got your blank workbook. Then all you need to do is using the middle mouse button. Right, this is the only way I can work out how to do this. There might be an alternative, but using the middle mouse button, usually your scroll wheel, go down here and just press that on Excel. And what you'll actually notice is that rather than putting a new window within here, it actually opens up a new instance of Excel. So if you've got multiple screens, you can sort of make this awesome stuff happen. We've got Excel program one, Excel program two. Um, another quick hack is moving these Excel windows around quickly. And if you've got your Windows key, which is usually between the control and the alt key on the bottom of the keyboard, hold that down, press the up button, you can actually end up with a maximize screen. Hold that down, press the left button, it moves it to the left. So you can use the arrow keys to toggle the Excel around. So I'm just pressing, here I'm pressing up, right, down, left, up, all right? So you can actually use that to quickly just send to your, um, your applications, it works with anything, rather than going through and trying to find out where it lives, or even throwing it up there. I don't really love that that thing but that works as well so you can just hold your application just throw it at the top and it maximizes it throw it in the left corner and it adjusts it that way as well okay. um, obviously Windows 10 does some other cool stuff but hopefully that's answered that question um, hope it helps so yeah